this lesson we're going to learn about angles and polygons. And if you haven't heard of a polygon before, a polygon's just a shape that has five or more sides. So he has the names of different polygons. Five sides is a pentagon, six sides is a hexagon, seven sides is a heptagon or a septagon, eight sides is an octagon, nine sides is a nonagon, ten sides is a decagon. Now there's a lot more and you could look them up on the internet if you want to know what any of the ones with more sides are called. But first lesson we're just going to do these ones. Now, say here I had a shape, let's just say a triangle for now. And this angle inside here is called an interior angle. So I'll put a little eye for that. And then this angle that comes out here from the side is called an exterior angle. I'll put a capital E for that. So inside the shape are called interior angles and outside the shape are called exterior angles. And we'll have a rule here that says the interior angle plus the exterior angle is 180. So because this is the interior and that's the exterior, this A and this I would add up to 180. Okay? Now, the next rule says the sum of all the exterior angles in any polygon add up to 360 degrees. So if I had a pentagon, all the exterior angles would add up to 360. And the same for any of these other ones here. Right. So those are your rules. So now we're going to look at some examples. Just rub off this diagram just to show you what I was on about. So what we're going to do is we're going to find some angles here. So using the rule from the last one, we'll say that's 60. Is 60. We need these are on a straight line. We can say that those are interior angles, like from the last video, because of my rule. And the rule would say that that's equal to 120. And same for this one here, this C would be 60. We're just and all those parallel, I'm just making that assumption to make the problem a bit better using worse skills as a bit of revision and to make it a bit simpler. Now, for this one here, I've got all these angles inside. I've got this angle B. Now remember these two angles here add up to 180 because of this rule here, the interior plus the exterior equals 180. So this one's 80, so then we know that B must be 100. Now, the sum of all the angles in the... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sides this one's got, so that's a pentagon. And I'm just going to tell you that all the angles in a pentagon add up to 540. So we've got 80, 100, a hundred and twenty. So eighty plus twenty is a hundred. A hundred plus a hundred is two hundred. That's three hundred. Subtract three hundred from five hundred and forty. We get two hundred and forty. So eight equals two hundred and forty degrees. That's your solution. Next problem here, what is each angle in a regular pentagon? A regular pentagon is where all the sides and all the angles are equal. So let us draw one here for you. Now there's two different methods first. The first method I call the triangle method. And what we do is we start at a point here. And basically what I do is I draw a line 
and split this up into three triangles, so that's 180, that's 180, and that's 180. So, now we can say that the sum of all angles is 540. There's your proof. But to find out what each angle is equal to, we've got this rule here that says N minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by N. Now this is for a regular polygon and it tells you what each angle is equal to. So N is the number of sides. So in this case N is 5. So we've got 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by 5. So we get 3 times 180 divided by 5, which is 540 divided by 5, which would give for that each angle is equal to 108 by dividing that. So each angle is 108 by using this formula. And this formula works for any polygon. And you just put n as the number of sides. So in this case it would be 6, 7, 8, 9 or 10. Okay, so we're just applying the rules again and finding the different angles and if you have any questions you can just post them on the video and I'll reply.